Paula and Kyle, if you're not familiar with Northside, behind me is what's known as the free bench. It's a place to drop off clothes and shoes and other small items to help those less fortunate. It's kept up pretty nicely. But you can also see it's not a huge space. But unfortunately, some folks have been dropping off items that can't be used and some that even create a hazard. Laureen Niehaus Beckner has only been in Northside a few years, but it didn't take her long to see it was a special community and how special the free bench was to the neighborhood. Today I had a text message that we had a couple expecting their first child and we had a volunteer that was here so she was helping them find items that would help them with getting started. It's an all volunteer group taking care of the free bench. Lorene says without the community's support, the bench and the kindness it generates wouldn't be possible. But people are leaving stuff they shouldn't, utility tubs, ceiling fans. We had a commercial grade refrigerator left with Freon still in it. We had no capacity for hiring somebody to remove that. Don't even know what, what's involved with that. The community stepped up and someone with a big truck hauled it away. Lorene wants everyone to know whether they're dropping off those items out of generosity or other reasons, the group simply cannot use them. It's just not what this bench was ever intended to be. So if it's building materials like utility tubs, ceiling fans, flooring, the best place for that is to go to building value on Spring Grove Avenue. Lorene worries what will happen if people continue to drop off these big items. We can't let it get out of control. Uh, we can't risk getting citations from the city if it starts to look really bad. Everyone involved is hoping that whoever's dropping off these unwanted items will stop. So here's a quick rundown for you. If it's not clothes, shoes, or small kitchen items like plates or mugs, don't drop it off here at the free bench. You're better off taking it to Building Value, St. Vincent de Paul, or the Habitat for Humanity Restore. And if you go to local12.com, I've actually got links to all those places in the, in the web story about this free bench so that you can know where to drop it off. For now, though, live in Northside, Christian Hauser, Local 12 mm. News. Thanks, Christian. Hopefully with this information, we'll get everybody on the right page. And the group is working on getting a sign that says what can be donated and what should be taken elsewhere. Close